Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Lesson 7.3, Adding Fractions Using Models. Our essential question for tonight is how can you add fractions with like denominators using models? I will be having model examples for you on this video that you can do along in your Go Math book. So please go ahead and turn to Lesson 7.3 and let's begin. For question number one, it's done for you using the model provided. It shows 2 6 plus 1 6 equals 3 6. So what I want to show you is that we are using a model. Now here's an example of a whole fraction strip. It equals one whole. Do you notice that we have 3 6 shaded in? because 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6 equals 3 6. You also can see that 3 6 equals 1 half because 3 is half of 6. So it does equal 3 6. But let's go ahead and look at this example. I have in my equation 2 6 plus 1 6. Do you see right here in this model we have 2 6 of our fraction pieces? Plus, we're going to add one more 6 to combine it, and together it equals 3, 6. We have 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6. Or, 2, 6 plus 1, 6 equals 3, 6. Notice how my denominator stayed the same. We only added the numerator, because my parts are cut in two equal parts of 6 parts. Now, in your book, you do not have the model, so I went ahead and created a model for you that should help you visualize this. Now, as you can see, the question says 4 tenths plus 5 tenths. Now, you know the rule I've taught you, that you keep your denominator the same and you only add your numerator. Well, I'm going to go sh ahead and show you what this model represents because I want you to see why it is what it is. So I have right here 4 tenths. I'm just going to block off 4 tenths. 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths. I could even just shade that in blue so you can visualize 4 tenths are being used. Plus 5 tenths. 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths. 5 tenths. Do you see that right there with that model? If I were to add up all those tenths that I've shaded in or that I've grouped together, you can see I have 4 tenths plus 5 more tenths equals a total of 9 tenths. You know a total would be 10 tenths would be one whole. We didn't use one of those tenths because 10 tenths minus 1 tenth is 9 tenths. Or 4 tenths plus 5 tenths equals 9 tenths. For question 3, I've made the model for you again. You can see in my equation it shows 1 third. So I'm just going to block off 1 third right here. Plus another 2 thirds. I'm going to block off these 2 thirds right here will give me a grand total of 3 thirds because 1 third plus 2 thirds equals 3 thirds. But as you can see with my model, I have 1 third plus 2 more thirds does equal 1 whole, which is 3 thirds. Let's look at number 4. Let's go ahead and do number 4 together. I have 2 fourths, so I'm just going to block off 2 fourths with my model plus one more fourth. I'm just going to block off one fourth right there. So if I were to shade in one fourth, two fourths, and then shade in one more fourth blue, it's like I'm adding two fourths plus one fourth to equal a grand total of three fourths. Notice how I do not have all four fourths shaded in. There's still one left over right here because four fourths minus one fourth equals three-fourths. Do you see why we only have three-fourths being used? Let's look at number five now. Go ahead and solve number five on your own, but I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the model. For number five, you should have said the total was six-twelfths, which also equals one-half, by the way, because we have two-twelfths. I'm just going to shade in two-twelfths right here to show you two twelfths, and then I'm going to shade in another four twelfths. One twelfths, two twelfths, three twelfths, four twelfths. Do you see how I have 
6 twelfths being shaded in, which also is one half of my fraction bar because 6 twelfths does equal one half. Therefore, 2 twelfths plus 4 twelfths does equal 6 twelfths, also known as one half. Okay, for number 6, we have 1 6 plus 2 6 equals what? Go ahead and write your answer down in the line. Okay, you should have said 3 6. Because if I wanted to add my numerators, 1 plus 2 is 3, and I keep my denominator of 6 the same. Therefore, 1 6 plus 2 6 does equal 3 6. Which, of course, is equivalent to 1 half. And I just want you to visualize so you can see why. Because the whole point of this is for you to see with models why. 1 6 plus 2 6 is a total of 3 parts out of 6 shaded in. Therefore, that's one half, also known as three six. Okay, I'm not going to have the models here for you. However, you're more than welcome to draw your own if you would like, if you need those to solve to understand better. Go ahead and press pause, solve seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then press unpause, and we'll check our answers together. Okay, for number seven, you should have said three twelves plus nine twelves equals twelve twelves, or you could have called it one whole. And as you can see with my model, I have three twelves plus nine twelves shaded in, which shows that all of my twelves are shaded in. Let's look at number eight. For number eight, you should have said three eighths plus four eighths does equal seven eighths. As you can see in my model, I showed three eighths shaded in plus four eighths shaded in, and it shows seven eighths total shaded in. Not yet one whole. And for number nine, you should have said three fourths plus one fourth does equal four fourths, also known as one whole. You can see that I modeled three parts out of four shaded in plus one more fourth shaded in equals all four fourths shaded in, which equals one whole shaded in. Now let's check number 10 out. And for number 10, you should have said one fifth plus two fifths equals three fifths. You can see in my model that I have one fifth shaded in plus two more fifths shaded in does equal three out of five parts shaded in. Now for numbers 11 through 14, go ahead and do these four on your own. Press pause, solve them carefully, and let's check our answers together. Go ahead and press pause now. Okay, boys and girls, for this one, you should have said that Lola walks four-tenths of a mile to her friend's house. Then she walks five-tenths miles to the store. All together, she walked nine-tenths of a mile. For number 12, Evan eats one-eighth of a pan of lasagna. And that means to add, his brother eats two-eighths of it. What fraction do they eat in all? Would be three-eighths of the pan of lasagna. For number 13, Jacqueline buys two-fourths of a yard of green ribbon. And means to add one-fourth of pink ribbon. How many in all would be three-fourths of ribbon? And for number 14, Shu mixes two-thirds pounds of peanuts with one-third pounds of almonds. How many pounds of nuts? So you're, you're doing the weight of different types of nuts, but it would be all together in all. Would be three-thirds pounds of nuts, also known as one whole pound. I hope you got those four correct. Now let's move on to the back side for your homework questions. For number one, it says Mary Jane has three eighths of a medium pizza left. Hector has two eighths of another medium pizza left. How much pizza do they have all together? Go ahead and answer that one, A, B, C, or D. And for number two, Jeannie ate one-fourth of an apple. Kelly ate two-fourths of the apple. How much did they eat in all? Go ahead and answer that one. And then answer three through six on your own as well. That we'll check tomorrow in class. Again, please don't forget to assess yourself. If you feel like you're level one, which is novice, you're not understanding the adding with models, please put down one now on your paper. Two, if you feel like you're an apprentice, you're kind of getting it. Three, practitioner, you can do this really well on your own. Four, you are the expert. You can do it and teach it in class tomorrow. Go ahead and assess yourself and answer these six questions, and we'll check them all together in class tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye-bye.